Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the world of Muscle. Uh, for those of you who may not know, Muscle is an acronym for millions of unusual small creatures lurking everywhere because, you know, they really were everywhere in the 1980s. Uh, kids had these in their lunchbox, in their pockets, just trading them all at the wazoo. They were kind of like the Pokemon before Pokemon, you know, if that really was a thing. There were uh, 233 figures to collect in all. Only two of them really had names because who really needs a name when you have basically a toilet for a front or a teacup for a head? <laughs> basically, this whole series was based off of the popular Kaniku Man series, in which case the Muscle Man, the only named figure here, uh, he would travel around and fight other like superhero wrestlers and stuff. Basically, if uh, the Justice League of America were to become all wrestlers at one point, this would be Superman. Uh, yeah, so none of the other characters are named except for this guy, who is officially named in the Japanese version uh, Buffalo Man, which is kind of like the the naming moniker of most of the characters from Kaneki Man. Uh, but in, in America, uh, his name is Terrible. Uh, yeah, and to be honest, my version of this character is not the best. His horn's a little chipped there. So, truly, this is a terrible version. He doesn't, he can't even stand up. Look at, the, look at those feet. He's dancing away. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Muscle is a very interesting series. And I'll be doing like a short little side series where I'll uh, take uh, about 10 of these guys at random, uh, tell you the, the fan research names, which are kind of based off of, loosely off of the fan observations and the Japanese version of these characters, uh, which, which appeared in mangas. Um, these, these guys appeared all in mangas and they have really obscure names that nobody can really pronounce. We tried to uh, localize them the best we can, and I will try to relay that to you. Uh, it's kind of an interesting little series that I don't think uh, reaches enough people. It's just so much fun, just the weirdos that kind of pervade this entire world. Um, that and they're just kind of fun to collect. Um, that said, uh, the first initial run was in like peach or kind of flesh color. And then later runs uh, provided, I think, eight additional colors. But I don't usually, I don't like those colors at all because they kind of detract from the the detailed sculpt that most of these figures pur purvey. So, um, so whenever I show you guys these, uh, they will be all in peach and they will be uh, semi-original. I, I tried to clean these guys up a little bit and um, yeah, get word out of all the finger gunk. Uh, but some of them won't really clean up all that well like that rock dude in the background there. But that aside, um, hopefully this will be a good enough purview into the series of muscle so that you know maybe they'll uh, decide to revive this. Uh, <laughs> Bandai technically owns the rights to it, so it's all up to them. Uh, but as of now, uh, only a third-party retailer, Super 7, have the rights to produce muscle, but their own versions of muscle figures. Uh, basically wrestlers, He-Man, uh, Alien, a few other 80s-type uh, nostalgia series that you know everyone seems to be collecting these days. Uh, but yeah, so, yeah. Um, with any luck, if there's more interest in these guys, more fans of this series coming out, uh, maybe they'll revive it at some point. And to be honest, I would really love that. Because who can go a day without T-Man? Uh, or maybe his name is Mr. T. <laughs> uh, that's, that's too bad. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for now. Uh, I will be back later with 10 random figures picked, um, to showcase the variety of figures that are available in the line. I don't uh, I don't intend to go too much into detail about each figure, just kind of the names and just a showcase. So yeah, uh, stick around for that. And until then, bye!